And then finally, immediately to the right of the smoothing tab, there is a blank subtraction tab. Now, unlike our predecessor products of both ChemStation and Easy Chrome, this allows you to be able to do a blank subtraction on each one of these injections. And there are a variety of different ways you can do that. If I use that pull down menu immediately to the right of none, I can select that I'd like to do a, a blank subtraction on all of my injections, or I want to do a blank subtraction only on the samples, and it will then negate or it will pass over any of my calibration standards that might be there. Uh, so if I select, for instance, all of my injections, it then opens up an ability to be able to use either blanks defined in the sequence, and so which blank is it going to take? Let's say I have a blank followed by 10 samples, followed by another blank, followed by another 10 samples. It is going to take the blank that is closest to the samples that is going to be subtracting from, but that was already injected and already acquired prior to those samples. So in that example that I just gave you, it's going to use the first blank to subtract from each one of the 10 samples immediately following it. It's then going to use the second blank to subtract from the second set of 10 injections immediately following that. Now, if you'd rather not have it do it in, in this type of an order. Instead, you can select to use a specific blank. So maybe I only have one blank that has been identified in my sequence table. Well, I would like to use that specific blank. Now, you'll notice that if you highlight or if you select that um, radio button immediately to the left of the use specific blank, a icon has appeared just to the right of the general, and it is a uh, triangle with an exclamation point in it. Now, this is not an error. It is simply a chemist guideline from the software that something needs your attention. So if I take my mouse and I hover over that icon immediately to the right of that, it says that the blank subtraction, the specified blank is not identified. And that's because in that list of injections on the left-hand side, not one of those injections was actually identified as a blank. So therefore, I can't use this process to be able to subtract a, a specific blank from the other samples because a blank is not apparent in any of these injections. So I'm going to reselect the use blanks defined in the sequence first. Then I have options down below as to whether to perform that blank subtraction if the data rates are different. So if I have changed the hertz on my diode rate detector from 60 to 65, do I still want to be able to do that blank subtraction? And or if I want to perform a blank subtraction if the sample descriptions match. So do I want to do a blank subtraction from a diode rate detector to a diode rate detector, or am, am I concerned about that at all within my data? In this particular case, we do not need to do any type of a back, background subtraction or a blank subtraction. So I'm going to go back up to my all injections that I have highlighted. I'm going to turn it back to none again. So it's not going to do any type of background subtraction. 